Hi guys, and welcome to week one of our 40 week program. So we grab our Bibles and we'll crack straight on in with it. In here, we are introduced to a God, a God who can be known, a God of whom we can have a deep relationship with, one that cultivates a mutual love. But also in here, we get introduced to a God who is so big and so much more than we can even ever imagine. A God that throughout the pages of history has done stuff that can be so vast, that can be so difficult to even grasp. He's described in here in so many different ways, so many different names from creator, sustainer, lord, master, healer, king, just to name a few. But yet Jesus, Jesus introduces him simply as Abba Father. Or to put it in another word, Dad. So to be a follower of Jesus means that we are putting our lives in the hands of this God. To be a Christian means that our identity now lies with this God. So that's where we're going to start our 40 weeks. We're going to start by taking a step back and having a look at who this God is. And in doing that, ultimately having a look at what that says about our identity. So you want to grab your Bibles. We're going to turn to two passages that we're going to read together in 1 John. How great is the love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. Yet to all who received Jesus, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. We are children of God. It sounds so simple, yet if this is our identity, it changes everything. Our God is the perfect father, not just the creator of the universe, but he is the hound of heaven who is relentlessly chasing after us and wanting to parent us. Wanting to have that close relationship with us, wanting to cultivate that mutual love, wanting to connect with us. Our Abba Father, our Dad. Check what it says in uh, Zephaniah 3. It says this. The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet with you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. This is a God who loves us. This is a God that no matter how vast or how big or how many different names he's given, ultimately he is our dad and we are his children. And what comes with that is a love that goes beyond any love that you'll ever know. So guys, I really encourage you to take those three verses again, give them another read, give them a ponder. But let's move on to some stuff to think about, to pray about and to live out. Right, so here's some questions for you. Just three simple questions for you to ponder about for the rest of the day. Okay, so here we go. The first one is, if someone asked you to describe God, what would you say? How would you describe him? Number two, what does being a child of God mean to you? And how does that change the way you view yourself and view others? And number three, how does the way God feels about you change the way you feel about God? How does it change the way you feel about yourself? And how does it change the way you feel about others? So guys, maybe you want to spend five minutes pondering that now. Maybe you want to ponder these questions throughout the week, however it is that you want to do it. But make sure you take time and really think about these. In some prayer traditions, there is this idea of the sacred word, a word that you use to kind of pull yourself back into the presence of God, a word that you use to pull yourself back into thinking and understanding of his character. So why not today try that using the word father, or maybe using the word Abba, or maybe using the word dad. You can do this by simply sitting down, taking five minutes, three minutes, two minutes, whatever it is, sitting really comfortably, and just being aware of your breathing. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. And every time you take a deep breath in, just say the word, Father. 
and do that for a couple of minutes. And then throughout the day, whenever you find that you wanted to pull yourself back into his presence again, you just utter that word Father a couple of times and it brings you back to that peaceful, centering place which you can encounter him. So give that a go today. So living as a child of God means that we don't have to let any external or internal agendas shape our life. Although it can be easy for that to happen, it means that actually we belong to something bigger, something better, somebody who loves us relentlessly. So today, why don't you try living that out? Why don't you try just keep telling yourself, actually, I am a child of God and I am under his love. And have a think and reflect at the end of the day, maybe reflect at the end of the week about how maybe your week has looked different, how your mindset has looked different. But maybe just keep on telling yourself, keep on coming back to that fact that I am not under anybody else's agenda. I am under his and he loves me and I'm his child. So guys, have a great week. And we'll see you next week um, for part two of our 40-week program. Bye-bye.